Okay, hi there YouTube viewers. Here's another another long overdue project on my little Predator inverter generator. And I just just haven't had the time to do it. What I what I'm doing and what I did <clears throat> is I bought a that's the name, I got this on eBay. And what this is is a three-way fuel valve like you would have on a uh, motorcycle or ATV quad or run or whatever you want to call it. This one back here with the V is your vacuum. This bigot here is tank one, which on this case, one would be the generator tank. And you flip it over, all the way over to the opposite side. And you'd be running tank two, which is R. And R would be for the remote tank. And I'm gonna put another hose on here, coming out the side of the machine. So I can take the hose plug it into my little two and a half gallon uh, fuel tank that's going to ride along with me and if it's hot during the summertime at night and you want to go to bed with the AC running you just uh, shut off the generator tank which will run maybe five hours with the, with the uh, maybe not even that with this air conditioner but if you just put it over to your remote tank you don't have to worry about it you, know, you got two and a half gallons of fuel, fuel that will run all day and that's why I'm doing this, because they only come with a on-off valve. So, you just have to take the case apart, and I'll probably go over that in reverse when I put it back together. It's only like maybe uh, six screws and two small little bolts with nuts, and you got to take the feet off on one side. And then inside here... There's the uh, fuel tank. It's got one screw holding it on the fuel uh, shutoff valve. And I got a set of hemostats. I don't know if you can see it. Pinching the uh, fuel line off. Probably see it better from this side. Because it's got a full tank. I'm just going to disconnect those two hoses. That one screw and that valve will be in my hand. And then I'll install the new one. And that's really all there is to it. Put it back together. All right, I'll be back in a minute. We're going to figure out how I'm going to film this. I'll be back. Okay, finally I'm back. I've got this thing back together. I missed filming it, putting it back together because I had to run all around town to get the uh, correct clamps and fuel lines. I ended up having to go down to the lawnmower shop a couple of times and wait for the girl that runs the department that knows what's going on because uh, you go in today you get people that know how to work a computer but they don't know anything else somewhat so I asked the other girl for fuel clamps and she had no idea what the hell I was asking her so I had to go back later a couple of trips but anyway I did it and I've changed uh, the way this ended up being put on those few three fuel outlets are now facing forward Straight up is main tank or the generator tank. That's the generator tank. That way is off. And this way down is this fuel line here. It's the remote tank. So I'm going to set this up on a tripod and I'll show you how it works. So I'll be back in a minute. Getting towards the end of the day. It's been a long day. But I'll demo this. And uh, that was like a $16 part. Now I can run my extra uh, fuel tank here, or any fuel tank. I need to get some more hose. I'm out of hose as well. And uh, you can just run a hose over to your other fuel tank and just keep it going. You don't have to worry about that little gallon, one gallon tank inside. All right, I'll be right back. Let me get on a tripod. Okay, I got the motor running on the main tank. Hopefully you can hear this. I'm going to flip that over to the remote tank and you should be able to see some bubbles coming up on that fuel line when I do it. I'm going to go flip it and hopefully you can see what's happening. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but 
you can see the fuel, you can see the fuel going shaking around, the bubbles. That's the fuel pump from the engine sucking fuel out of that can. And just so you can see the difference, I'm going to go turn the uh, heat gun on real quick. So anyway, that's uh, camera shaking all around. That's the three-way fuel valve where I can run the, uh, the little generator off the remote tank or run it off the one-gallon tank. I just have to decide now if I just want to run it with the air box off and cap that fuel tank off or I drill a hole through the side of it and put a hose coming out with a shutoff valve. I gotta think about that because this thing's on the warranty till 2017 sometime. So anyway, that's the fuel three-way fuel valve install I did on the little uh, Predator generator. Sorry I didn't show it going back together. I got a little bit frustrated running around town and I forgot to do it. But anyway, that's the finished product. And it's running off the fuel pump. You don't need any of those $100 adapters going into the fuel tank. Which I don't even know if it would work on this because of the way the fuel tank's laid out. I don't know. Anyway, I know that works. That always works. Go to the fuel pump, switch your fuel where you want it, and you're done. And I think I'm going to get a, uh, a little boat hose with a little fuel pump that you pump to prime the system. I think that's what it's going to end up having. That would make it super easy. Alright, so anyway, that's it. Predator inverter generator has been updated to run on a remote tank. That's it. Thanks for watching.